wise, but I'm not a person to say I, I, and I think in most of the people here in our culture, it's not much for us to talk about ourselves. But I'll tell you this, I was born and raised in the city of Milwaukee. I'm a product of Milwaukee Public Schools. I know this city, and I'm confident uh, anywhere I go in this city, I can give a story or bring some history to the people in the community from that area and tell them what I know. And I was very successful in doing that in other areas of the city. I could go to uh, 33rd and North and talk about old businesses that were there. And, and some people would say, I've been here for 15 years. Ha. My family's been there since the late 60s. Uh, I got you beat. I got you beat. But when I came to the South Side, I tried to do that role on you. <laughs> and when Paul Grip says, I've been here my whole life and I'm in my late 70s, I don't know the age, but I'm, you know, I'm at it. I'm like, ah, and then they're, you know, son, you know, you're, you're, you, know you beat me. And, and not only that, but uh, talking to people who not only were born and raised in this community, they, be, they became educated, left, and came back to serve the community that they were brought in. That's very rare. You don't see that everywhere else in the city. You see it here. And what that does is when you come and put that type of energy, focus, and, 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 and concerns, it's very difficult for a person standing in my shoes, holding this rank to look in your eye, and give you a cookie cutter version answer. It can't happen. I think you would step all over me if I did that. So you demanded it. It wasn't me giving it to you, you demanded it. And I, I thank the Lord that I had the opportunity to work with you, work for you, because the challenges that are going on in the city of Milwaukee, if it isn't for you as a community, things would be much worse. Just take a, you know, look at the bright side of things and the glass being half full. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you this, that um, here are your challenges. Here are the things coming forward. You have a neighborhood, you have a community where people here have, you know, been born and raised. You know the history, you see the changes. But understand what's going on in the rest of the city. You have other areas of town where houses are, going to, are being raised at a rate at over 300 plus, 400 plus a year. People have to live somewhere. And what do you have to offer? You have the affordable housing for people to move in. When people move in there, they're good people. Landlords will do their job and do their screening and bring in good people. But when you have the volume of movement that's coming, and in, in a 5.7 square mile area, take two miles away for the harbor, you're talking about over, with undocumented uh, 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 citizens, you got over 90, close to 100,000 people living in a 5.2 square mile area. Mm -hmm. It's very dense. It's gonna continue. But it takes the neighborhood to keep the neighborhoods the way they are. The CPU team, I'm gonna let you know what they did. They were doing this before I got here. They honed it, they, they skilled, they did better as they, as they moved forward. It was allowing them to do their job. But they pulled a greater majority of the resources from City Hall to here to help you because you demanded it. That's awesome. Between District 2 and District 3, 80% of the resources from City Hall, that's the Department of Neighborhood Services, that's the Assistant District, uh, City Attorney's Office, was spent in those two areas. You demanded it. And what was even greater to see, because of the transparency, when, when I can tell you I can do this, I can't do that, the responses weren't uh, throwing the chair at me. The responses were, what can we do to help? That's amazing. Working all over the city, that doesn't happen everywhere. And not only saying what we can do, but like Tammy says, let's, let's, get, let's roll up our sleeves and do it. Fifth Place is a perfect example of that. That's been known as Crack Alley as long as I've been on the job. And to say, and the plans that came forward, my wiring on this job, coming from investigations, work in robberies, work in homicide, work in gangs, work in drugs, is always to throw the bad guy in jail. But when you come and work with a community, you can't take that approach. You help me understand that. You help me understand we're not going to make a Brewer's Hill out of fifth place. But what can we do to reduce the crime? You are something special. And I mean that sincerely. You have to keep on doing it because you, again, have and the, the area of interest here in the south side is you're rich in business. 
you're rich in family values. You're, you're rich in the effort that you put in over anywhere else in the city. So that becomes, you, you, you become an area of focus where people want to come and move into. And with that comes problems. So that's the challenge here. You have to continue to fight. And I don't mean fight, roll up your sleeves and fight uh, people. Fight for the resources that you deserve and continue to work as being part of the team. That was always my, 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 uh, my, my focus in our district. My focus was to tell everyone, you own this. Don't expect other people to come help you. As a police officer, I said, you have a ton of business here. Let's make them safe. Let's keep the economy going over here and own it. You, 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 you personally are responsible for every assignment you have. That's a challenge. That's a challenge when sometimes we're overworked but it's not an excuse. And I can tell you, when I left that district, nobody's perfect, the majority of us were living that, uh, that mission. And I hope it continues. Captain Heather Worth, I was able to take her around the district and introduce her to different uh, people. I'm sorry I couldn't get, you out to all of, uh, get her out to all of you, but she gets it. She's already partnering with District 3, and they're trying to work continue to work some of the, uh, the things we left uh, behind. And, and, and lastly, I'll leave you with this. We have, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my, 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 my thought here, but uh, you guys are, are, are very special. Keep it up. I will do whatever I can. I'm not gone. I have a few years left. I plan to stick around. I have children that are young. They're, they're going to cost me a lot of money in school. Get some scholarships. And uh, God bless you. Que Dios los bendiga y mil gracias.